the Zero Carbon Resorts Project has constructed a tangible showcase cottage featuring an environmentally sound building with a standalone energy and water supply system. In line with the project's 3R approach, a radical concept has been realized in order to meet modern comfort demands and high user expectations with the least possible environmental and carbon footprint. It combines vernacular architecture elements and indigenous materials with a contemporary design and state-of-the-art research results. The Zero Carbon Resorts Project is funded by the European Union as part of the Switch Asia program. It is implemented by the Gret Center for Appropriate Technology together with three project partners, the PCSD, Palawan Council for Sustainable Development, CMAT PSA, Centro de Investigaciones Energéticas Medioambientales y Tecnológicas, Plataforma Solar Almeria, and ASSIST, Asia Society for Social Improvement and Sustainable Transformation, Inc. in the Philippines. Along with associate organizations, The progressive approach of the ZCR project has achieved remarkable success in increasing the resource efficiency of hotels and resorts in the Philippines. The reduce and replace phases have had an enormous environmental impact and produced impressive economic returns for the participants. The ZCR team has worked with more than 500 resorts and hotels in the Philippines to reduce carbon emissions and costs. 11,860.37 tons of carbon emissions have been avoided annually, equivalent to 5,640 cars. At the same time, the companies taking part have achieved monetary savings of 241,878,143.41 pesos per year. Going green has improved their profitability dramatically. Very, very pleased so far with the help Zero Carbon has been giving us at Sangat Island. They've given us a lot of good ideas. Um, from the beginning of our development here in Sangat, we've tried to be as clean and green as we can, but it's, sometimes it's very difficult. And we're not always aware of the latest technology available and ideas. And Zero Carbon have uh, definitely enlightened us in many aspects of uh, developing our resort. In this final project phase called Redesign, the goal was to demonstrate an innovative building concept as a showcase for resource-efficient solutions in the building sector, using indigenous and locally available materials and significantly reducing CO2 emissions. How did we achieve this? A new batch of trainees made up of architects plus building and energy system planners from all over the Philippines with some international participants were selected and trained in the redesigned innovation course in Puerto Princesa City, Palawan. The output from this was the basis for designing the ZCR demonstration cottage. In the final stage of the project, the redesign phase, the project team has intended to showcase best practice to developers of new resorts, of new hotels, in order to steer the whole development in a sustainable direction. For that purpose, this zero carbon resort cottage has been built as a model it's a real showcase to demonstrate the efficiency and the feasibility of that approach. The cottage is constructed of building materials made from renewable sources and regionally available materials including bamboo, anahaw leaves, rattan, wood, and earth. Bamboo is an excellent candidate for zero-carbon structures 
with much less environmental impact than concrete, steel, and aluminum. The ZCR cottage is primarily made of 90 to 95 percent bamboo. The main species of bamboos used in the construction are patong and bayog. Natural building materials are vulnerable to degrading organisms such as termites and other insects. For the ZCR demonstration building, we aimed at non-toxic treatment as far as possible. So pressure seawater treatment was used for all bamboo poles and the anaho leaves were soaked in seawater too. With the aid of point foundations that elevate the building, metal and concrete were kept to a minimum. Steel anchors were used to connect the bamboo poles with the foundations. Compared to a conventional guest house, this zero carbon resort cottage has reduced its consumption by more than 95%. And that was achieved due to passive cooling so no air conditioners are needed in this building. It is cooled by natural ventilation, shading, reflection, and um, some air movement. Thermal comfort is achieved by means of design and construction principles, rather than by energy-consuming appliances. For instance, a rammed earth wall made from materials on site is integrated into the building. Soil excavated from the building footing was sieved and mixed with sand and water. This mixture was then pressed into a mold and compacted layer by layer. The thermal storage capacity of the rammed earth makes it an excellent temperature stabilizer. Due to the thickness and density of the material, heat penetrates the wall very slowly and the internal temperature of the building remains relatively stable. All floors are made of engineered bamboo planks, split bamboos, and in the entrance area, anibong has been used. Anibong, scientific name Oncosperma, is also a local building material commonly used in traditional Filipino houses. Natural roofing materials include the so-called tagtad bamboo shingles and anaho leaves. Laminated aluminum foil was sandwiched between the two layers to reflect heat and as waterproofing. The roof is designed in a butterfly structure for rainwater collection in a single downspout. To cool the building down, Wind direction was taken into account and breezeways were planned to channel cool air into the building. Trellises with climbing plants are located at the northeast and southwest corners of the cottage to help reduce cool breezes and channel them into the cottage all year round. We see this concept as a role model, especially for island use, but also for remote areas and we wanted to create an eye-opener that shows with intelligent concepts you can drastically reduce the consumption and then supply the remaining consumption with all renewable energies. Several energy-efficient technologies are integrated into the building and contribute to its low energy and resource consumption. The building is 100% self-sufficient in energy and water. Solar panels are the main source of power for the entire cottage. The cottage's electricity consumption is only 4% of what a conventional cottage of similar size consumes. Water is supplied only from the rainwater collected from the inverted roof. Other technologies include a solar water heater to generate hot water. A solar cooker is also installed. This device converts direct solar radiation into heat at about 200 degrees Celsius. With its integrated storage system, this solar cooker can cook food even at night. This yields a huge reduction in electricity or LPG costs. 
For lighting purposes, sunlight is channeled into the building via tubular solar lighting elements and large windows. All light bulbs in the ZCR cottage are high-efficiency LED lamps, which consume only 15% of what CFL lights consume in a conventional house. Wastewater is treated directly on site too. A biological water treatment unit incorporating a pumice wick is installed in the cottage to purify wastewater, an inexpensive alternative to a conventional septic tank system. In addition, the entire building's performance is monitored and analyzed for knowledge transfer and dissemination. All relevant weather data, such as insulation, wind speed and direction, outside temperature, humidity and rainfall are recorded on site, as are indoor temperature and humidity. Ultimately, these results will provide a basis for policymakers to revise standards and codes for buildings and energy systems in the Philippines. Well, uh, as a partner, we would like to promote it in Palawan because uh, Palawan is uh, developing so fast that we would like to protect the environment and natural resources and uh, balancing development and conservation of natural resources. Well, uh, Palawan today uh, has become to be a tourism destination. So that means uh, there would be a lot of investors that are interested in the province of Palawan. We have uh, 1.5 million hectares of uh, area in Palawan and uh, the natural resources are still intact. So that means if development would be able to come in, then the threat would be to the environment and natural resources. The threat would be, and the pressure would be also in the cost of electricity, cost of water consumption. Uh, there should be, if there will, must be efficient technologies along the line of uh, reduction in terms of cost, uh, improving efficiency in terms of electricity consumption and water consumption. So this is a must that everyone, every investment, every capitalist who are coming into Palawan will be conscious about environment and natural resources. The Zero Carbon Resorts Bamboo Cottage functions as a hub for information and dissemination and as a learning center attracting visitors from throughout the region. You are welcome to visit this demonstration cottage and learn more about the actual energy and resource conservation measures being implemented there. For more updates on project events, training courses, and our online forum, you may visit our website at www.zerocarbonresorts.eu.